Hello, Earth and Astronomical Science students. You're in week five, so we're over halfway done with the course. So great work, keep up your great work, and just push on through. So this week, we're starting our studies of astronomy. So we're going to cover chapter 21 in your textbook. So this chapter really gives you a brief introduction to the night sky, looking at constellations, how the Earth rotates, and therefore the sky that we see. And your main goal for this week that I really want you to try to do is to go out and observe the stars. Now, a lot of times in Illinois, there's cloudy, rainy weather, but if that one night is clear, for 10 minutes even, I want you to go outside and take a look at the night sky. So this week, just like in our normal weeks, you have your reading guide available to you. You have lecture notes available to you. Then you have your discussion board you want to participate in. You want to do your homework and then take that quiz. Now, this week, I've also provided you a link to this program called Stellarium. It's a free planetarium program. It's a great program. I use it all the time. You can download it on your own computer. You can also download it on a USB drive, okay, which makes it kind of very portable and a neat program to use. And this is your personal planetarium. This allows you to figure out what's going to be available to see at night. Your homework this week is a little bit different. I do want you to go out and look at the night sky so you cannot leave this homework till last minute. So do this homework right away. You need, to per you need to put together an observing preparation sheet. Astronomers do this so they know what's going to be available for them to see when they go out and observe the sky. So you want to fill out the, the last part of the homework, the observing preparation sheet, for the night you're going to observe. So maybe you'll do the observing preparation sheet because you know you're going to observe on Thursday night. Do all of the information then for Thursday night. So when you go out Thursday night, you'll know where to look to see Andromeda, you'll know where to look to see the Big Dipper because you've prepared yourself for the night sky viewing. So when you go outside at night, bring your friends, bring your family, make it a group event. Make it fun to go out there and observe the sky. Now, if it is cloudy, don't freak out. You have a whole week, right? Hopefully one of those nights is clear. If not, we'll have to use the planetarium program, but we'll deal with that later in the week if the clouds just persist. Okay, so we're, we're jumping into astronomy, but don't forget that Earth science. We're, we're going to keep tying together the sciences, and we're really going to see how Earth science is used in astronomy and vice versa. So we're headed off to the astronomy, and you'll really start to see how these sciences are pulling together. All right, you guys, good luck on your work this week. Remember to contact me if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys next week.